Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I had a dream, and I think it's a warning dream, and I believe I'm supposed to share this, so I hope that you pay attention. Listen, some of you are trying to hook up with people who don't know how to love, don't know how to treat you, have total disregard for you or your needs. And I do believe the dream is a warning dream. In this dream, and you can apply it male or female, if you have a significant other that you are trying to really make the other half of you, you better back up and think twice. Listen, watch what they do. Watch what they don't do. I don't care how sweetly they apologize. You watch this. Lord, please anoint and open ears and eyes of understanding. Listen, <clears throat> in this dream, I dreamt I was walking with a guy into a restaurant. It was like a cafe. They had countertops around the first entranceway and around the countertops were tables and chairs and booths for people to sit in. We were going there to have breakfast. This guy and I, we, we get to the door. As soon as we get inside, I notice he's in front of me. He's not holding the door for me. He's in front of me. And as soon as he spots a seat, he sits down. And he's getting ready to pick up the uh, menu to read and see what he's going to eat. Well, I'm looking at him. Now, in this dream, there is a long-term relationship. So we're not strangers. I don't know if it's husband or wife or dates. But hopefully, for your sake, it's, it's, it's dating so that you know to get out of it before you tie that knot. This man is sitting there waiting to find out what he wants to eat. And I'm standing there looking like a dummy because there's someone sitting on his left, someone sitting on his right. He did not find a spot for two of us to sit. He found a spot for him. So I continue to walk past because I'm already feeling dumb and silly. I walk past the group sitting around the bar or the countertop, whatever you want to call it. And I have the service uh, set me down at a table. Well, now I'm sitting there by myself waiting for my meal. Well, see, I don't have a problem eating by myself. I do everything by myself. I like my company. I'm good. But in the dream, I could tell I was someone else and I didn't feel comfortable. So I'm sitting there feeling silly and stupid. Then it was like he came up out of his world and realized, oh, I'm here with somebody. Oh, that's right. And he gets up and he comes around to apologize. So he sits and he holds my hand and he's, he's really apologetic and I didn't mean to. I'm so used to doing stuff by myself. Oh, please forgive me. Oh, that was so thoughtless of me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know, let's just order the food. So. It, I noticed that this guy was so caught up in me, myself, and I, so to speak. He was so caught up in himself. Self was his glory. Self was his focus. Self was everything to him. And anybody on the outskirts of that were just barely uh, uh, window dressing. It wasn't anything that important. And that's when I realized in the dream, I had no importance in his eyes. I just happened to be along for the ride. Well, this was all about him. So he's getting ready to order and he's ordering what he wants. And he's not even waiting to see what I want or if I need anything. It's just, it's all about him. And I'm sitting there like, why did I even bother coming? Think about it. Now, I don't know if any of you have that feeling. Why did I come? Why are they even bothering with me? They act like I'm not around when we're together. Think about those things that you think about, the things that you feel. You almost feel abandoned when you're right there in their presence. You feel left alone, forgotten, the whole nine yards. Well, there's a reason for that. Because you're dealing probably with a person with serious narcissistic tendencies. They are self-absorbed. They worship self. They're self-centered, they're thoughtless, they're selfish. 
Everything's about self. Hmm, think about that. So my question to you is, wouldn't you have a better time if you were by yourself than trying to squeeze into this person's self-made world that really does not include you or your needs? Think about that. They know how to apologize, but all they're going to do is, is carry you around like a little dog on a leash. Your window dressing makes them feel good to say they have a woman or a man or whatever. Think about it as a woman treating you that way as well. See, it doesn't matter what the gender is. The problem is, are you trying to hook up with somebody that's already in love with themselves? Hmm. Leave that alone. I do believe that was a warning from God. Many people settle for self-centered, selfish, narcissistic, egocentric, thoughtless, selfish, all about me type people. And if you don't fit into their agenda, they really don't have time for you and your insignificance. <laughs> don't you have something to do? Don't you have something to go? Are you still here? Yeah. Don't be a burden to somebody else in a relationship. Go find a healthy relationship. One way the two of you are a delight to be around each other, not a burden. Yeah. Think about that. And if you're in that, baby, you better ask God to show you a way out with the least amount of drama possible. That's your warning. Ding! This is Pat's Two Cents, reminding you that God's into love. 